Are you ready to get your garden growing? Joining us this morning on the weather patio where it's beautiful is Jan Ornston from the American Lawn Corporation with some great tips on how to get rid of those weeds and get the flowers in and beautiful. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful day to be gardening. We can hear the birds chirping and, and the sun shining. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Lee was saying he didn't know the difference between the weeds and the flowers and at least I can tell the difference. The weeds are ugly. We have a little more color in yeah. this basket, <laughs> yeah. but the weeds, we have some uh, that, that fall from the seed from your trees like mm -hmm. your maple trees right. and um, I just happened to pull out a few weeds and plant them in my own little TV2 garden bed. Yeah, and perfect. What I would like to demonstrate is the use of a garden hoop. I've never heard of this. This is a gardener's best friend. Okay. This is so easy. If you suffer from back aches, knee aches, maybe you want to go out and get yourself a hoop because this will take five minutes of going through your garden beds and it actually will slice your weed. It doesn't pull it from the root. Okay. But, you know, the sun will then dry it out. This is, this Oop. should be sliced too, but. Will it I even get the dandelions out. though? It'll, it'll get every weed in your garden bed. Okay. And it's, it's, um, freshens your dirt as well. Okay. And within about 24 hours, these are all dried up. And you can just pull them off and throw them out. You can pull them off if you want to, or. Or just know, let them compost it, it, it will naturally. Compost, it'll dry up, okay. and a nice windy day like this will kind of blow the okay. yeah, dried up part away. All right, that sounds good. So okay. Um, and and what I would normally do suggest too, if you have mulch in your garden bed, take a rake and freshen up your mulch. You have nice, colorful red mulch oh, underneath. Oh, I see. Yeah, because it gets mulch. a little faded. It gets or a little. Or if you have the hardwood, it's nice and dark. No one, um, you know, will bleach it out. During one thing the that's months. fabulous about mulch, it looks great, but you know, when you first get it done, if you use the natural mulch, it stinks. So, do you recommend the cedar? I, uh, it's a matter of what you like. If you like the red mulch, if you have red brick on the house, a mm -hmm. lot of my my uh, customers will have an installation of the red mulch. If you have a brown brick house, they like to go with the hardwood. Mm -hmm. um, then, of course, there's the cedar mulch, which is very natural. It smells so, so good. Okay. It does smell good. All right, let's 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 uh, go to the flowers now. And the flowers, what I would suggest, I like to plant three or four flowers together for a burst of color. Mm -hmm. So what I, what I would do is, I will pull those weeds out, um, just dig a hole and maybe put three flowers together in one hole. And you can see the difference where you have a nice burst of color here. Um, you can take a few begonias and plant your begonias around. Now, are these called, because I'm completely unqualified, to, are these annuals, perennials, or none, these none of the above? Annuals, oh, these are annuals, and they okay. grow during the summer season. Your first frost, they will die. Okay. Um, also, when you're planting, if you decide your begonia is maybe a little too high, which the colors, you know, the height is okay, but you might want to just prune it a little. The color, the bud will come back in about oh, a week's time. Oh, okay, I was going to say, what have you done? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it'll come back in about a week? It'll come back in okay. about a week's time. We have a dianthus. Okay. This is an annual also. And these are really not expensive, right? $10 a flat. Oh, yeah, like a fl and a flat is a lot. In a flat, you, you usually get about 48 flowers in a flat. Okay. So dig your hole and plant for a burst of color. You can do four, five, six flowers at once. Okay, and your best advice is to put those gloves on because we ladies don't want to ruin yes. our, you, you just don't got wanna, your nails done. Plus your, your skin will dry out from the dirt, mm -hmm. um, crack and break, so always wear gloves. And I would like to also stress you want to water every day during our Michigan summers. We do have hot, humid weather. The sun mm -hmm. will dry out your beds, so. What's the best time to water? Uh, the best time is water early in the morning. Okay. Even and though that way your plants are hydrated for the day. All right, Jan, thanks so much for joining us. You okay. can get more information on these gardening tips on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. Just head to our mornings page. Jason, over to you guys.